तेरे बर्तमान गेस्ट अफ अनर डर अक्षय विषय प्रेसिडेट एम्स भुवनेश्वर ओडा अनुरोध रिंतु तूर्व मुझे विषय में कहवाई चाहिए एम्स ररिष्ठ हृदरोग विशेषज्ञ भाव में से कार्यरत तीन दशंधि अधिक समय धरी जे निष्ठापर भाव चिकित्सा क्षेत्र में सेवा जगह आसी बतीस हजार रु ऊर्ध अस्त्रोपचार कर पराकाष्ठार प्रमाणित कर जीवन दान दे डॉक्टर विश्वई को अनुरोध रू आड्रेस द गैदरी जय जगन्नाथ अनुरबुल मिनिस्टर सदानंद साहु जी अनुरबुल सत्यनंद मिश्र जी एंड माय फ्रेंड्स हम लोग आज हेल्थ के बारे में बात कर रहे हैं तो हम डिजीज के बारे में बात ना करें तो अच्छा है हमको ये समझना पड़ेगा कि हेल्थ एक्चुअली है क्या स्वास्थ्य स्व स्तर जो अभी हमारा अवस्था है वही हमारा स्वास्थ्य है ये इलनेस या वेलनेस में सिर्फ खत्म नहीं होता है हमको वेलबींग के पास जाना है हम सिर्फ डिजीज में रेस्ट्रिक्ट नहीं होना चाहिए शायद इसीलिए हमारा हेल्थ केयर मॉडल में ये फ्लॉ है After so many years of independence, we have not actually achieved a reasonable state of well-being for our citizens. Because we talk about disease and treatment, health care establishment, health care policy, we talk about health care policy. ये पहले बार ऐसे हुआ इन माय थर्टी इयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरसिंह राव जी टाइम कि पहले बार कोई ऐसा सरकार है पहले बार हमारे पास कोई एक प्राइम मिनिस्टर है जो वेलनेस एंड हेल्थ के बारे में फोकस कर रहे हैं पहले ऐसे लार्ज स्केल में कभी नहीं हुआ था ये वेलनेस है क्या अभी टॉपिक है कि अफोर्डेबल एक्सेसिबल एंड इंटीग्रेटेड ऐसा कौन सा चीज है इट इज ऑलवेज अवेलेबल एवरीवेयर अवेलेबल एवरी टाइम अवेलेबल एंड डज नॉट रिक्वायर ए सिंगल पेनी फॉर द ट्रीटमेंट ये डॉक्टर नहीं है नर्सेस नहीं है पारामेडिकल स्टाफ नहीं है स्वयं हम है इंडिविजुअली वी आर ऑलवेज अवेलेबल माई सेल्फ एवरी इंडिविजुअल इज अवेलेबल टू हिम सेल्फ और हर सेल्फ ऑल द टाइम्स सो हेल्थ हैज टू बी हैंडेड ओवर टू द इंडिविजुअल नॉट टू द हॉस्पिटल नॉट टू द हेल्थ केयर प्रोवाइडर्स एंड देन ओनली विल बी एबल टू ड्रीम ऑफ हैविंग वेल बींग then how is it possible i will give you two examples honorable minister sahab i think he will appreciate it that even before the modern science started from aristotle in 300 bc we had scientific intervention the first therapeutic intervention to improve the health of the human beings हम लोग हमेशा बोलते हैं कि कभी कभी बात होता है व्हाट इज योर गॉड फीलिंग कभी कोई सोचा कि ये गॉड फीलिंग क्यों बोलते हैं क्या गॉड फील कर सकता है यस बिसाइड्स द ब्रेन दैट वी कन्वेंशनली अंडरस्टैंड वी हैव गॉट टू अदर लिटिल ब्रेन इन आवर बॉडी वन इज एंटरिक ब्रेन और फूड प्राइव ब्रेन हुच एज गॉड हंड्रेड million nerve cells in it they process information they develop knowledge they have memory also and this has developed over billions of years and that is the first portal for establishing good health just imagine 
when we were just hunters and food gatherers we are traveling a lot to have one kill to have food the hours of fasting which was there was quite long sometimes even days used to pass by without having food then we started having brain we developed brain from the food chain in the middle of the food chain we jumped to the top of the food chain we had imagination we had creativity then we started killing faster we had plenty of foods when the plenty of foods came then what was the inbuilt technology that we had in our body to avoid overeating because you know obesity is the commonest cause for diabetes hypertension coronary artery disease even now people are saying cancer in rig veda to prevent obesity they introduce the concept of fasting fasting is the fast therapeutic intervention to achieve or establish well being that is called the health and through fasting we achieve many things it can a uh, different types of fasting are there and it is self practice not only we restrict the intake of the food we also discipline ourselves in adopting a particular way of life medicine when we take medicine it does not give us a particular way of life but fasting gives a particular way of life and disciplines our mind and body so you you can have intermittent fasting you can have periodic fasting now through fasting so uh, you people must be knowing that somebody, if somebody says i am 61 years of age but we know on an average every cell in our body starting from 3 days to lifetime average life span of a cell in the body is 10 years every 10 years theoretically the cells are being changed so physiologically we are only 10 years and the cells those who are non functional they are old cells and they need to be taken care of they have to be removed and that is by self eating that is you call autophagy if you don't eat or destroy those cells it will produce cancer it will produce inflammatory reactions now it is established that it is producing atherosclerosis so fasting accelerates that so in the process it increases the longevity and keeps the person quite young so that is that is the thing we can practice without being dependent on any healthcare prof professionals now i'll come to the another aspect of another little brain which is there in our body again in vedic era they mastered in a in a uh, in a uh, reflective uh, way because we know that there are five categories of knowledge the most primitive knowledge is the empirical knowledge next little developed knowledge is the scientific knowledge scientific knowledge is the not the last frontier of the knowledge then comes the reflective knowledge then comes the contemplative knowledge then comes the intuitive knowledge in vedic era in indic civilizations we were having experiments on thoughts that is the most powerful instrument of any research so they they realize that if you want to achieve health then you have to control your brain then how can you control the brain till now it was understood the brain actually controls the heart but surprisingly now it is established beyond doubt that heart has got 40000 nerve cells it can feel it can process memories it can learn and it can modulate your thinking process the connection between the brain and the heart which is connected by the vagus nerve now it is established that out of 100 signals which are passing through that nerve 80 signals are going from the heart to the brain 
and only 20 signals are coming from the brain to the heart. So indirectly, it is establishing that our heart actually regulates the brain functioning. And heart generates such a powerful magnetic field. It can go beyond the body. It is a common knowledge that people feel when they go to some people, they feel good, that the person has a good vibe. So how does it happen? It is the heart's magnetic field takes over the uh, brain magnetic field of the person who is there. So how to then regulate it so that you can achieve good health? Then another scientific intervention which was done in the Vedic time is called the pranayam. Pranayam is very scientific principle. It has got a, when we breathe in, our heart rate goes up. When we exhale, our heart rate goes down. So in between two heartbeats, when we breathe in, it decreases. When we expand, then the uh, time interval between two beats, it expands. This, this is called the heart rate variability. If we can maintain the heart rate variability, we can completely regulate our thought process. So it regulates the anger, anxiety and frustration. So we have to regulate our food habits, we have to regulate our feelings. If we can regulate these two things, most of the diseases, almost 70% of the diseases that is commonly known now, diabetes, hypertension, mental uh, disturbances like depression, psychiatric disorders, even cancer rate and it can be modified. So now time has come. We have to give the health back to the individual. Jodi apanoko amo video ti bhalo lagila, tebe amo channel ko like, share, or subscribe kari paku jama bhi bhulon tu nahi.